Welcome to Myrtle Beach Eats and Beyond, the show where a local foodie, that's me, attempts to parlay a passion for delicious eats into a useful video guide for other locals and tourists attempting to answer the age-old question, where should we eat in Myrtle Beach? Don't worry, I've got you covered. With me on this journey are my three progeny, that's them, who also love to experience new eating emporiums, raising them up right. We'll also be exploring fun, family-friendly activities and showing you the ins and outs, the do's and don'ts, the lowdowns and hoedowns of where to shop, play, stop, and stay. If you're lucky, I might even cook for you. And if that's not enough to convince you to subscribe, just know that once a week, I am completely wrecking my diet to bring you this content. Now, I'm not saying that you should feel guilty about that in any way, but I'm just saying you should subscribe. Welcome again to Myrtle Beach Eats and Beyond. Today we are going into the beyond. We are peeling back the layers, going behind the curtain, and doing a deep dive to answer the question, which is better, Walmart or Aldi? Now if I'm being perfectly honest, I might not be the best person to answer this question because I have shopped at Aldi's a whopping total of four times in my life. But I do know a bargain when I see one, and since I often hear friends enthusiastically discussing their Aldi's experience, I had to give it another shot and try comparing apples to apples, or pineapples to pineapples, or pineapples to apples, whatever, you get it. We have several Aldi's locations in the Myrtle Beach area, and if you're new to shopping there, let me just give you a couple of pointers ahead of time. Unlike Walmart, where carts are available en masse wherever you turn, shopping carts at Aldi's are closely guarded under lock and key, or is it quarter and key? Quarter and chain? Lock and chain? So anyway, all the carts are linked together. You insert a quarter, and that quarter allows you to remove the chain linking to the cart in front. When you're done shopping, return the cart, reinsert the chain, and your quarter will re-emerge for future use. The location I visited had extra large carts, big enough to seat two toddlers side by side, something I always loved when my babies were small. You want to in the, car? the other important thing to know is that Aldi's doesn't provide shopping bags. They do have some available for purchase at the register, of course, but most shoppers just bring them from home. When you check out, you will be overwhelmed by your cashier's incredible speed as he or she scans your items and catapults them back into your cart like a professional juggler with Olympic aspirations. Do not be alarmed. It's all a part of the process. Just smile, say thank you, and skulk away quietly. You can place your items into your bags at the bagging counter located just in front of the registers or you can just wheel your cart outside and bag up your items at your car, if you're like me and always forget your bags in the front seat of the car. The moment I walked in, I was drawn to a box of cheese crackers, something I always pick up for the kiddos to munch along with their sandwiches. Normally, I would buy the Great Value brand, which is $1.53 for a 12.4 ounce box, but I was pretty excited to find such a big box. This is a 21 ounce box for $2.85. That's about 13 cents an ounce, a hair more than the 12 cents an ounce for the Great Value brand. If I was going to get a similar size at Walmart, however, I would have to buy the Cheez It brand at $4.78 for the 21 ounce size. That comes in at 22 cents an ounce. You know, I haven't been buying chocolate since I started intermittent fasting to clean up my diet back in March of 2021. But good quality chocolate is always of interest to me, so I thought I'd have a look. And I was pretty excited to find this brand of chocolate. Delicious and high in iron, you guys. I'm personally working on healing my anemia, so this is purely medicinal. We always grab a pack of bagels to have as an option when the kids need some carbs. And at Walmart, we get the Lenders brand bagel for $1.67 per six pack. At Aldi's, I found a six pack for $1.49. In addition to the slight savings, I have to say the bagels are noticeably larger. The package states 20 ounces versus 17 ounces, but it honestly seems like a little bit more to me. 
In all honesty, that's not exactly a win for me as we do try to restrict processed simple carbs in our diet, but it is what it is. A one pound pack of strawberries are $1.59 during our Aldi's visit, which is a savings of 41 cents over the Walmart equivalent. Hass avocados, 59 cents versus 82 cents a piece. And lemons are less than a 10 cent difference, so those are about the same. A broccoli crowns is where I first noticed a pretty substantial difference. I got twice the amount of broccoli for less money and since we really love broccoli in this house, that's a really huge win for us. I didn't buy cherries on this visit, but since I have been getting them quite regularly since cherry season started, I did take notice of the price. Aldi's was selling them at $4.89 a pound, which was actually higher than Walmart's advertised price of $3.97 a pound. All these was also slightly higher for plain green grapes. The hothouse cucumber I normally would get at Walmart runs me $1.38 each. So all these price of $1.29 was a savings of nine cents. Beyond that, however, I couldn't help but notice that all these version was, well, a much more substantial cucumber. The regular cucumber at Aldi's runs 75 cents versus Walmart's 60 cent cuke. Pineapple to pineapple, Aldi's wins by 19 cents, $1.69 versus $1.88. Aldi's Organic Greens pulls off a slight 7 cent lead of $3.59 versus $3.66. And Celery wins at Aldi's by a minuscule margin of 3 cents, but again, it's bigger you guys. This is a nice big celery stock. Bell peppers at Aldi's come in at $3.29 versus $3.37. And try as I might, I could not find what price Walmart charges for a head of cabbage. I have no idea, but 75 cents seems like a great deal either way. And since cabbage is so nutritious, it came home with us, along with some sauerkraut. 12 ounce artichoke carts were $2.09 at Aldi's versus $2.62 for the same size at Walmart. Walmart wins the fruited goat cheese round with 61.5 cents per ounce versus 66.5 cents per ounce, but Aldi's takes the lead back in the plain chevre category with 49.8 cents versus 61.5. Now, in the hummus category, things get a bit complicated. Aldi's offers an organic hummus spread clocking in at a respectable 28.7 cents per ounce. This is significantly less than the Sabra variety offered at Walmart for 33.4 cents an ounce. However, the market side brand at Walmart comes in considerably lower at 19.8 cents an ounce which would be an excellent win if we didn't dislike this brand, forcing us to always acquiesce to the more expensive Sabra brand. So there you have it. Bottled water at Aldi's was a bit less than the 98 cent brand we often grab from Walmart, but not as low as the 67 cent variety I'm sometimes able to score when it's in stock. We splurged on a fruit flavored Greek yogurt at Aldi's this week, which we scored for $3.69. This is a considerable difference from the yogurt treat we would get at Walmart for $4.34. The plain variety was $3.19 at Aldi's versus $3.47 at Walmart. Now, I've never personally bought baby back ribs, nor have I eaten baby back ribs, but these just happened to catch my eye. So I did a little comparison as best I could, although I really don't know if these are in any way similar. Maybe you guys can tell me. Salmon, I know, and although the Aldi's filet makes me drool, it is about 15 cents higher per pound than Walmart's price. Aldi's chocolate milk was nearly a dollar less than Walmart's, and the organic whole milk was about a dollar 27 less at Aldi. Unless we're going for the Walmart brand, which is about 19 cents less. Soy milk was 27 cents higher at Walmart, and while oat milk was about the same, 
coconut milk was nearly a dollar less at Aldi's. I just introduced the children to the delight of the baked beans I ate as a youngin, and so we were pleased to find a brand at Aldi's for $1.25, a 73 cent difference from the nearest rival that we get at Walmart. I normally buy a box of pasta from Walmart pretty often, and I'm pleased to get it for less than a dollar, so I was pretty surprised to find a similar pasta for even less at Aldi, only 77 cents per one pound box. Not so if you're looking for spaghetti over rotini, however. Who knew different shapes cost more? I didn't. Bone broth is a favorite, so I always check those prices, but I notice that Walmart has a much larger variety from which to choose, so I'm not really sure how I would make the price comparison in that category. Flour tortillas was another big Aldi's win. We don't use traditional bread very much, so saving on tortillas was pretty exciting, but not as exciting as the great deal that Aldi's had on unrefined coconut oil for just $3.79 more than $3 less than the Walmart option. A modest 11 cent savings on oatmeal was eclipsed by the joy of finding one solitary fan for one solitary boy dealing with a nearly broken one at home. Total win. So, what's the verdict? Who is the overall winner? Well, no one. <laughs> Aldi offers great prices for those who really need to count or those who just really enjoy counting every single penny. Their stores are smaller and easier to navigate without the overwhelm that some Walmart locations are known for. Walmart, on the other hand, still has really great prices and also has far more offerings and much more variety for those who need variety. In our family, Aldi's has a lot of items that we could stock up on at a savings, but it doesn't have all of the items that we need on a weekly basis to make all of the meals that we're accustomed to. Certain meats and cheeses we can only get at Walmart or at our bigger grocery store chains. And these just simply are not items that we would be willing to compromise on. So will we trade Aldi for our other shops? Nope. Will we stop by Aldi's for tortillas whenever we're driving by? <laughs> you betcha!